whether you're a believer or you're not a believer, whether you're a skeptic or whatever, the fascination that is Loch Ness will always remain in people's minds and they will always want to come and see it. My name is Willie Cameron and I am the voice of Jacobite here at Loch Ness. Uh, on some of the cruises, my voice, along with the voice of Karen Gillan, the actress, share the task of conveying the story as far as Loch Ness is concerned. Welcome to Loch Ness by Jacobite. Join us as we sail down one of the world's most famous waterways and hear about its history, legends, and the people who have shaped its story. I do a lot of the research for Loch Ness by Jacobite regarding the history, the history as far as Loch Ness is concerned, regarding the sightings, regarding the personalities, and then convey them through a blog on the website. I'm totally passionate as far as the subject of Loch Ness is concerned. I have a direct link as my, my late father had one of the most amazing sightings of something on the surface of Loch Ness back in 1965. Whilst he was fishing on the southern shore of Loch Ness, saw something most peculiar about uh, 10 o'clock uh, of that evening. He saw an object rise just off our castle. The wind was coming from the west. The object was going with the wind and he watched it for over 50 minutes. He also attracted the attention of the gentleman he was fishing with, plus two other people that were in a caravan on the lay-by just above where they were fishing. So altogether, four people saw it from that side. And then after about 50 minutes, the object turned and went against the headwind, which showed him that it had some form of propulsion, either mechanical or animate, because that's the only way you can go against the wind. All in all, there was nine sightings on that night. What did he see? What had a power source to go against the wind? And I do believe that the mystery has still got to be solved. And as they say in the movies, the truth is out there.